Uh, hello again, welcome. Um, so we're going to do a, uh, this is a summer house. Um, uh, we're going to put in some power into a summer house. Um, no lighting, Just uh, they just want uh, a, uh, a power um, double socket put in, um, which they've supplied. It's a, I mean, it's an outdoor socket, but it's fine. Um, had its own little challenges, which you'll see in the video, uh, in how to get the power to the building. Um, uh, basically, the, the client didn't want me to, uh, put it underground or anything so we had to do it overhead luckily there was a way of doing that and keeping it within the regs at the same time so we were able to, it was fair enough um, an attempt was made to do this in the past so I was able to use the same track um, anyway you'll see, you'll see all this when, when, uh, when I put the video on um, a fairly short video today um, but I thought it'd be interesting to, to put up I haven't done a, um, a power into, into a summer house now this is um, a nice simple one there's no extra consumer units to put in or anything like that um so yeah so enjoy oh if you're enjoying these videos don't forget to sub uh, subscribe um i do try and get back to people who, who put comments on if you have any comments on the video be glad to hear them uh good or bad um so yeah yeah uh, uh, enjoy and uh New job. We're going to multiple parts this one. So we're going to run a single socket into this summer house behind me. Um, there's some um, trellising, which the customer is quite happy for me to run the cable along, and it's going to be able to reach and it's perfectly safe. That's fine. Into the garage, and we're going to tap off a radial circuit there to this socket. Bit of work to be done in the garage, it's, you'll see it later. Um, other parts of this job, there's some outside lights to put on and a new lounge light. But we'll, I probably won't video those ones because that's just simple um, switch outs of lights already there. So we'll do this one. So the customer supplied a BG outdoor socket which we're going to fit. I'll just turn this around and you can see what we're up to. So, the cable's going to come up there into a uh, juncture box. Going to run white conduit down and 450 off the floor. We're going to put in a double socket there. So, we'll start off with that and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> okay, uh, just show where we're up to. Got my laser level on. Bottom uh, socket is in place. We're going to run the conduit up there. There's the uh, junction box, so you can see it's all nicely level, vertically anyway. So we're going to get that attached to the wall, get that pipe on, and then we'll run singles down to the box. And I'll show you how I've got that across the garage in a minute. So here we go, that's with the, so the socket back's on, that box is on, junction box is on, cable sliding through, and nice and straight. 20 mil conduit in, so let's run the singles in and then we can start joining it all up. Okay, so we've got the cables run down. Again, I uh, run singles down the conduit to the to the socket and the it's all hooked up in there. Uh, a couple of wagos. Interesting to note, uh, ferrules on 2.5 mil cables don't fit into wagos, so I've had to take them off. Um, Bit final 1.5s but not 2.5s but there you go so it's hooked up to the um i've used a tough cable by the way not swa on this um find it easier to use i don't mind using swa but this is a i'd rather use the tough cable on this so just tough cable in from the outside into there and then singles uh way going in that junction box down to there Okay, so that's the summer house section of the job done. I'll show you how the cables run into the garage. Right, so we better get a bit creative in running this. Um, so I've used, what have I used? Uh, Galvanised banding, because the cleats wouldn't fit. So as you see it's come straight out the back of the summer house, that's all going to be 
um, sealed and then it's banded to the back of this. This is a fixed panel, it's not a loose panel, it's fixed and then runs across there and then straight into the garage. Um, now the regs say that's perfectly fine, again if I'm using galvanised there's not a chance of it collapsing or premature collapse there and it's above the height that it's supposed to be. I think it's I will check the regs, but it is above the height. I think it's two and a half or something like metres or whatever, which it is. Um, so yeah, so that's how we put it across there. Okay, we're inside the carriage now. So on the laser level, that's I've drilled a new hole into that back box on that socket, which is on a radial, 16 amp radial. And that's going up there. You can just see there's an angle there, a bend. Inspection bend, that's the word. And that's going to run off over there and uh, there, the lower one, is the new junction box that I've fed in and that's the tough cable coming through it. Um, and we're going to join a piece of conduit from that box to that inspection bend down there and join it onto the existing 16 amp radial. Jobs are good and jobs done. So I just need to add a couple of metal saddles and I've literally just run out of 20 mil conduit so I need to go and find just a short stretch of conduit just to fit there and I bet I have no scrap pieces left in the car that'll be just my luck yes I have noticed the old switch with a hole in the bottom uh, might need to do something with that anyway we'll sort that out later right so we've got it all metal saddled up through there and across there's a saddle there and into the box with the cable coming out of it so I just need to run 2.5 singles down that and into there like I say couldn't find any 20mm conduit which is a real pain just for that small section so I need to go and find some and then finish connecting that up do my R1 R2 dead tests uh, insulation resistance tests and then we can do the RCD test. Right. <coughs> okay, so oops, I'll turn that off earlier on. Um, right, so we've got the uh, 2.5 mil singles now all laid up into the box and the new uh, conduit all laid in place. So I just need to terminate that up there and terminate that into the socket and then we can do our dead tests um, I've just done the RCD test which failed now I need to obviously investigate that um, as to why that's failed but we'll deal with that later okay so oh, we're in the wrong place so socket's on we'll run through and we're all um, hooked up in there terminated and we're terminated into the sub house and I've hooked up the um, clip together the line and earth out there because I have practically no room in there to do anything in there for testing so I'm doing this the other way around so I'm doing it on a probe probe in the top of the 16 amp MCB there to the earth bar I know I'm going to get parallel paths but it's the only way I can think of doing it and I've got a point two reading which given the distance is probably not far off being correct anyway um, so that's fine uh, I'll do the insulation resistance test next and then we'll liven it up wish I could show you this but I can't but basically insulation resistance on this was top of that MCB to the earth bar came out greater than 2000 megrams on the tester top of the uh, MCB to the neutral again that was absolutely fine greater than 2000 so I'm I'm reasonably happy with the IR testing is okay now as well um, yeah so I'm going to close this up and liven it up just a quick thing on some of the compromises I've had to make that was the original hole that had a uh, cable coming out of it 
Um, and obviously, as you can see, there's no way I was going to get a junction box in there. I could have filled the hole and put a new one in um, next to this boarding, I suppose. Um, but that, uh, we'll just uh, fill that um, hole with some sealant, and I think that should be absolutely fine. Um, and again, the same on the shed. Uh, the entry hole there, um, yeah, um, at the top of the thing, I did have a lot of choice with that. I could have raked down the side of the uh, building, I suppose, and put a, a junction box on the bottom, but this is an immovable box. So it's just no way I could get to the shed. So we'll seal that as well. But normally I'd put a junction box on the outside. I've had to compromise with it on this occasion. Still, the job's done. Now we're on to the outside lights.